months, we have focused our briefings mainly on COVID-19, and understandably so. We will continue to do that. However, we find it prudent to use this platform to also present to you with a picture of the medical landscape in Kenya as it relates to disease outbreaks. This is important because COVID-19 affects more so those with compromised immune systems and those with, with underlying conditions. We must also recognize that we are potentially exposed to diseases because of the ongoing rains and flooding in certain parts of the country. We had a cholera outbreak that started off in Garissa and gradually made its way through three other counties, namely Wajia, Tukana, and Muranga, before being reported in Mosabit on the 24th of April, 2020. The collaboration of the public health teams from the local county governments and the Ministry of Health is working to control the reported 550 cases, out of which 268 are in Mosabit, while 222 in Tukana County. It is unfortunate that we have also lost a total of 13 Kenyans from this cholera outbreak. 12 of them in Masabit and one in Tukana. Regrettably, most of the cases, at least 40%, and sadly, 70% of the deaths too, have been among children aged 10 years and below. May God comfort the bereaved families and rest in peace the souls of the departed. The other reported cases in Garissa 48, Wajia 4, and Muranga 8 have all been controlled. We are working closely with the county governments of Mal Sabit and Tulkana and hope that this fully is fully contained over the next few weeks. At least in the next two weeks. We believe that this is feasible, given the fact that the outbreak is currently localized to only two areas, which is Masabit and Trukana. As it relates to COVID-19,